Oh dear. But yeah, we've been kind of dodging around one question I'm sure many people are hoping we'd get to eventually, since pretty much a topic people bring up any time you discuss a new Smash Bros. game. What characters would we like to see in it? Oh, that's quite a list, actually. So you go first, <laughs> and I'll see who I agree with so we don't double each other. Okay. To start off, the assist trophies are a good idea, but... There are two characters I think should be promoted to full-fledged fighters just because they're kind of significant. First is Samurai Goro. Now, I don't really like him as a character, but it would be nice for F-Zero to have a second representative because F-Zero has been kind of underplayed in Smash Bros. And the second would be Lin from Fire Emblem because, well, obviously we're kind of Fire Emblem fans and I think she deserves a little bit more. Plus, it would be nice to have some more strong female fighters in this series. That said, I really hope they change the voice actress for Lynn if she does become a full-fledged writer. <laughs> I was going to say the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah, oh god, that was a terrible... She's 16, she's not supposed to sound like she's in her 40s! <laughs> <laughs> and that's not even saying anything of actual voice acting age, because let me put it this way, I think Kate Higgins, who has always been my mental image of Lynn in some way, shape, or form, She's in her 40s and could do better than that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I could not agree more with Lynn, because let's face it, in the West, she was basically the introductory character for everyone who played a Fire Emblem game. I think. Yeah, it's true. I mean, okay, I know, like I said, the assist trophies are for characters he feels won't quite work as fighters, but come on, if you can completely make up a moveset from Marth, Captain Falcon, and the rest of it, you can make up one for Lynn. Yeah, and simply because Ike has got to be the most foisted Fire Emblem protagonist in history, could you replace him, please? <laughs> <laughs> I preferred Roy in the first place, and I would frankly prefer Lin. I actually don't mind Ike being where he is, because he does have a significant impact in the Fire Emblem series. I just would have loved Lin now, although, on a side note, um... <laughs> Roy was one of the original characters they cut. Yeah. <laughs> so they did want to bring him back in. <laughs> yeah. I think I learned of that before, and I was like, really? Yeah. He was way more interesting to use than Ike. I mean, his representation in Brawl is nothing like how he fights in the games. He is faster than that. He is not a Sherman tank. <laughs> Yeah, that's a point I'll get into later about character representation, but I do agree I could be faster than that, so it may actually be nice to have, if you're going to have him focused on power, have Lin focused on the speed, if that makes sense. Yeah, admittedly, even though he was always my main, I wouldn't actually be that disappointed to see Marth go if Lin was his replacement, because that would kind of balance too. Because I don't want another cloning disaster here, like three Star Fox characters playing exactly the same. <laughs> yeah, I do agree. I mean, and actually, speaking of the cut characters, obviously, being a DK fanboy, I have to say, I honestly don't mind which one of these, but I would like either Dixie or King K. Rool to get it. And Dixie was one of the characters that was cut. Yeah, we've we've talked about this before. I remember you like, having very strong opinions on the issue. <laughs> Ugh, yeah, although, I will say this much. I have this horrible feeling that they were going to make Dixie an exact clone of Diddy, in which case I would say no, 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 a thousand times no. Dixie is not a clone of Diddy in the slightest. She does not have the inventory Diddy has, and she has her own unique moveset. Remember the whole ponytail? It kicks ass by itself. <laughs> <laughs> She can knock people out of it, she can throw people with it, that just makes a special moveset. I mean, okay, maybe make the A attack similar to Diddy, but give her different moves because it would just be an insult to her character if she only gets in because Sakurai wanted to create a more powerful version of Diddy or whatever. Yeah, and personally, again, I could not agree more with K. Rule, pretty much, because the Zelda series has already had four or five characters in this, including its villain, and frankly, who would not want to see K. Rule just curb stomp Ganon? Indeed, after, indeed. All, the, <laughs> after all the plots he's hijacked. Mm, yeah, it would be really cool to see him in there. I mean, I know there are some people who say, well, what could K. Rule do? Even if you buy into that stupid, stupid, stupid continuity bluff that Captain K. Rule is his brother, 
which, by the way, only happens in Japanese continuity, which is not the main continuity Donkey Kong Country is based on. <laughs> but even then, Karul can run very fast, he can jump, he can summon cannonballs, if you include Donkey Kong 64 he can punch hell of a hard, he can turn invisible, if you want to go with the jungle climber stuff, he can barrel roll and final smash, crystal banana or blastomatic. Yeah, that is exactly it. He has plenty he can do because, I mean, just look at what he has done. You boss fight him. Indeed. He can box Chunky Kong. Mm. End of story. <laughs> giant Chunky Kong, don't forget. Yes, he can box Giant Chunky Kong. That's the thing, Karul has a lot of things he could do, so he definitely has a lot of potential to be a character. Yeah, and hell, if we're looking at, at Ganondorf as an example here, yes, Ganondorf is intimidating. If that makes him deserve being in the Smash series, K. Rool has every right to be, because he is terrifying as piss. <laughs> <laughs> King of Swing aside. Oh dear. But yeah, I know we've mentioned Fire Emblem characters, but one other I could suggest, off the bat, I mean, although this one I kind of make as a hesitant recommendation, because if Mennonite means that we could include rivals, the Black Knight would be a good choice to counter Planet and Psych. Oh, yeah. I remember people suggesting him in Brawl in the first place. Oh, I have a terrible feeling they would just pull a Ganondorf and make him an even heavier Ike. Yeah, I figure why right, that could happen, but it's, it would still be interesting to have him just because of, you know, the significance of his character, especially connection with Ike. He's like the one rival, although, that said, he may be better to work as an assist trophy, not because his options are limited, because, well, there was actually one comment I saw on a YouTube page which did make a lot of sense. He was replying to someone who was saying the Black Knight should be a ball, in which he replied, I honestly doubt the Black Knight could jump. That's a very good point, and I think it would look like absolute and utter gnar if I actually tried to make that work. Yeah, that's a thing. I mean, it's hard to imagine a guy who's basically encased from head to toe in armor jumping, and double jumping, let's not forget. Yeah, I'm just trying to imagine that in my head, like, boing, boing. <laughs> <laughs> Although I suppose you could, I suppose you could try and add a little flavor and say he uses short-range warp powder to jump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, although that might look a little silly. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> I suppose if you wanted to include Nintendo franchises, you could also add Little Mac from Punch Outs. Yeah, the assist trophy, the one who just punches, punches, punches. Yeah, that's a. Oh yeah, that's a good point. If I got it was an assist trophy, yeah. He might make a good example, and the last one I can think of the top of my head, aside from just another MC Uro character, is good representation of like the modern Nintendo. I think having a me appear in it might be a good idea. Oh yeah, that's not a bad idea actually. Because it would be nice if you could make it so that the me looks like one of your own, but <laughs> if it was just a random me, that would be cool. And there's also kind of a debate among some fans, because me suggested it a lot, but some people are wondering if the me should just use items from the sports games, or if it should be customizable, you know, like make your own moveset for it. Wow, that could be both ridiculously cool and ridiculously broken. Yeah, I know. I mean, <laughs> as I think, it would be an awesome idea if you could make your own moveset, but it would have, like, some system for it. Like, um, the only way I could see it working is if maybe, like, you can assign a special move, but each you have like a limit of points, and each move like costs a certain amount of points. Like for example, you can have a Falcon Punch knockoff, but that takes uh, like two thirds of your points, so you're only left with weaker moves to fill out the other slots. Yeah, I can see that working. But that's the only way I can see a customizable move set working. But even if they don't include that, just having the me there would be pretty cool. Yeah, since that would add a whole new level of into the fight. Yeah. <laughs> so, those are the ones I was thinking of. Can you throw in any more? Well, people have already mentioned Golden Sun, and I would only ever recommend Golden Sun characters purely for the introduction of a fairly decent series from what I did play. I can't find my copy of the game anymore, so I can't play no. it anymore. But I would only recommend Golden Sun purely for the flavor factor. Add another well-known series. 
And it would work, because there's swordplay and magic. That is true. I forgot the... I think Isaac's the name of the main hero. He was in that. I've... Yeah, he... Isaac was an assist trophy, actually. Yeah, I remember that. I've forgotten that Golden Sun counted, so yeah, it would be nice. And maybe if I convinced me to buy a copy of the damn game. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, it worked for Fire Emblem. Yeah. <laughs> Good lord, this discussion goes on forever. Okay, I'm gonna have to put an abridged version here, and I'll post the full version at a later date if enough of you request it. One of my suggestions was a second representative of the Metroid franchise, possibly run this from Prime 3, or if Nintendo really wanted to troll its fanbase, Adam Malkovich from Other M. Although personally, I prefer Anthony Briggs since he was the only likeable character in that game, and he was kind of a badass. Sven also mentioned that since most of the games have been on Nintendo systems, his pipe dream would be to see an Ogre Battle 64 character, such as Magnus Gallant. And then jumping on that logic, I pointed out that since for some reason Brawl counted Magical Star Sign as a Nintendo only game, I would also like to see some of the cast members from that game, preferably Lassie or Chai. I also mentioned that another Pokemon trader would be good, preferably one of the villains like Giovanni, or, best choice, N, since, you know, he's one of the few Pokemon characters that actually has an arc. Plus, Pokemon Black and White pretty much revitalized the series anyway, so it would be a fair tribute. And then, finally, we also made some silly third-party suggestions, mainly Mega Man and Lloyd Irving. That would be cool. And with that, back to the broadcast. Okay, so that's all the characters covered. Last question, just to kind of serve as a closing thing for this discussion and kind of hope for the future, just in case Nintendo happens to be listening to it, the very unlikely chance, honestly. <laughs> What elements do we think could be improved for later games? What? Uh, long story short, my suggestions, better story mode. Oh, I could not agree more. Yeah, Subspace <laughs> Emissary was a good idea done terribly badly. Yeah, I could not agree more. I mean, okay, there are many ways to improve Subspace Emissary. One, Less generic enemies. You're working with all of your franchises. You do not mean to make generic, uninteresting minions like those. Yes. Could not agree more. And also the world. Could you have made that subspace episode map any more generic? You know you have a problem when... If you just took out the Halberd from the world map and replaced it with, random example, the Starship Enterprise, this Enterprise does not look out of place... <laughs> yeah, it, it was just a generic world map with faintly connected, <laughs> superfluous locations. Yeah, I mean, there's some locations you can kind of vaguely see sort of look like locations from games, but not quite. Yeah.